Hello, Wildcat family. Welcome to your course registration information for the school year of 2022 and 2023. First, we will go over the graduation requirements. For English, you need four credits. That would be English 1, English 2, English 3, English 4. Math, you would need Math 1, Math 2, Math 3, and a higher math, which could be Math 4 or Honors Precalculus. Science, you need Earth Environmental Science, Biology, Chemistry, or Physical Science. Social Studies, you need American History 1, American History 2, World History, and Civics, or it could be personal finance. Health and PE, one credit and eight elective credits. OCS students will follow the OCS course sequence. Total, you need 24 credits to graduate. If you turn to page in your student planning guide, you will see the promotion standards for each grade level. Please note, in order to be a 10th grader, you need to have a total of six credits. In order to be an 11th grader, you must have a total of 12 credits. These credits must include English 1, English 2, and Math 1. To be a senior in high school, you must have a total of 18 credits. Remember, to graduate, you must have a total of 24 credits. You may also elect to take honors AP or dual enrollment college courses through CPCC. The chart shows how these types of classes affect your GPA, which means your grade point average. The higher your GPA is, the more competitive you can be when applying to college and for scholarships and internship opportunities. Each honors course taken adds 0.5 quality points to your GPA, and each AP or dual enrollment course adds one point quality points to your GPA. Now let's go over the benefits of AP and CPCC courses. If you're interested in earning college credit, please check out the AP courses Garinger has to offer. AP courses are advanced level classes that are a little more challenging than standard or honors, but you can receive college credit if you pass the AP test. Please reach out to a counselor for questions regard regarding AP courses. If you're interested in mornings at the G and afternoons at CPCC, Mr. Summer Hour is the expert. Some advantages of taking dual enrollment college courses at CPCC is getting a head start on college and saving thousands of dollars on college tuition. Dual enrollment courses include free tuition, free books, free transportation to CPCC. Okay, students, now we're going to look at some of the resources available to assist you in your registration process for the 2022-2023 school year. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to get to the planning guide. You go to the Garinger High School homepage, select student services, then select registration, then select planning guide. Now that you've located the planning guide, you may go to pages 22 through 47 to look at the course descriptions. The CTE pathway descriptions begin on page 39. If you would like a copy of your transcript, please email your counselor. When you see the arts education section of the planning guide, there are numerous courses listed, but the following courses are those offered here at Garinger. Here at Garinger, most of you have already taken one or more courses in a CTE career pathway. We ask that you continue in that pathway that will help you in a future career and also potentially receiving a certification when completing the pathway. Hey Garinger Wildcats, it's Ms. Cathell here, one of the school counselors, and today I'm going to be showing you how to register your, for your school classes for the 2022-2023 school year. 
The first thing you want to do in order to register for your classes is to come to the Garinger High School webpage. On the left hand side, you want to log in to your PowerSchool using this link for the PowerSchool Parent Student Portal. Once you click that link, you are going to be shown a screen similar to this, but right now your screen is just going to have um, your grades and attendance, grade history, history, attendance history, teacher comments, school bulletin, and then you're going to have this cool new button that you can click called class registration. Once you click the class registration button, you're going to be taken to this screen that says welcome to the Garinger High School class registration system for the 2022-2023 school year. This means you are going to be signing up for classes that you are going to be taking starting in the fall of 2022, so after summer break. First, what you want to do is read through some of these um, tidbits that we've already talked about, meaning academic courses. All students will be scheduled for English, math, science, social studies, academic courses to meet your indi individual educational needs. You're also going to be choosing required elective courses. One required elective course is health and PE. You must take it for a grad to meet a graduation requirement in the Charlotte Mecklenburg school system. Most of you have already taken this class in the ninth grade, but for some reason, if you did not take the class, we need to make sure we take it in person. Please talk to your counselor if you do not think you have um, taken this course yet in high school. Last, we're gonna have your choice of elective courses. Elective courses include um, Spanish, art class, um, any of our CTE courses that um, is principles of business, marketing, um, ROTC. This is going to be in your elective course request options. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that we're signing up me. I'm Ms. Cathell and I'm going to be a junior here at Garinger High School. So let's continue. As I scroll down, I'm going to see these course request options. Okay, as I look, I'm going to see English, Math, Science, Social Studies, again, this PE that we talked about, Career Technical Education, ROTC, Visual Arts, World Languages, Performing Arts, General Electives, and General Alternates. What, these are the classes that I'm mainly going to focus on. So, right now I'm in the 10th grade and I'm going to be signing up for 11th grade classes. First, I'm going to start with English and I'm going to scroll over here to the pencil button and I'm going to choose what English class I want to take. When I click this button, I have many different English classes that um, are popped up, that populate. So, I have my course card out, and I already have noticed that I've already taken English 1, English 2. The next class that I need to take is English 3. But, I want to challenge myself next school year, and I think I want to take honors. So, I'm going to click Next until I find Honors English 3. So, I'm looking and I do not see Honors English 3 yet. So I'm going to go to the next screen. Oh, and I have found Honors English 3. So I'm going to click it. Now, some of you may be in different grades, so you may see different levels of classes that you can take. But please sure you read your class options. Next, I want to uh, sign up for a math class. So looking at my course schedule, I've already taken um, Math 1 and Math 2. The next class I want to take is Math 3. Now math is not my favorite subject. Um, I have a difficult time, so I don't think I want to challenge myself this year in Honors Math 3. I think I just need to take regular Math 3. So I'm going to click Math 3 and click OK. Next up is science. So I'm going to go over here again to my pencil button. 
Now, I've already taken uh, Earth Environmental Science as well as Biology. So, I love science, and I can either take Physical Science or Chemistry. I think I want to challenge myself this year and take Chemistry because I just really enjoy learning all about different elements. After I click Chemistry, I'm going to click OK. Next up is Social Studies. I'm going to click my button. And this year we have some new options for students um, based on what grade you came in as a ninth grade. So I know that I need to take um, Founding Principles and Civics because I've already, I'm in American 1 right now. So I'm going to click Founding Principles USA North Carolina Civic Literacy and click OK. I've already taken Health and PE and I did great in that class. So I don't need to take Health and PE anymore. That's a ninth grade class. Next, I'm going to choose my um, electives that I want to take. So, I'm looking over here, and again, we have Career and Technical Education, JROTC, Visual Arts, World Languages, Performing Arts, General Electives. So, what I need to do is I need to count how many classes I've already signed up for by scrolling up. So, I take, I've signed up for one, two, three, four classes. That means I need to choose four more classes because I need to have a total of eight classes in order to click my submit button on this screen. So this year I really think that I want to start in, um, into ROTC because I think I want to go into the military after high school. So I really want to try. Now, since I've never taken ROTC before, I really need to start with the first level of ROTC. So I'm going to choose ROTC 1. Now, if I've taken ROTC my freshman and sophomore year, I can move up to the higher levels of ROTC. But since I haven't, I need to start at the beginning. So I'm going to click the ROTC Army. And then I see this have this ROTC 1 Leadership Lab. I'm not sure what that is, so I think I'm going to wait and ask my counselor to see if I need to take that. Then I'm going to click OK. So I have one elective chosen. Now I really enjoy the CTE classes that I take. I really enjoy Principles of Business. So I want to move up the Principles of Business. The next class I would take after Principles of Business would be financial planning. So I'm going to look for financial planning and I don't see it on this screen. I don't see it on this screen. And of course I missed it. It was on the first screen. So I'm going to click financial planning as my next elective class. So that means after I click OK, I have two elective classes. I still need two more. Now, I think I really want to go to a four-year college after high school, and I'm pretty sure my counselor told me I need to take two world languages. So I'm going to scroll down to world language, and I'm going to pick the world language that I would like to take. I think the world language I'd like to take is Spanish, and my counselor told me I needed two classes. So I'm going to click Spanish 1 and Spanish 2. And if I'm not right, then my, counselor, my school counselor can help me. So I'm going to count again. How many electives do I have? One, two, three, four. OK, good. I have four electives. Now, my counselor told me I needed to have some alternates. And you can tell you need to have some alternates because you have a red exclamation point. This means, wait, I need it. I can't turn this in until I have some alternates. So I'm going to click the pencil, and I'm going to choose some classes that I think I'd like to take as electives, just in case I can't take Spanish this year or ROTC is full. So I'm going to choose some classes that I think I'd like to take. 
now I have so many listed classes. I don't know what I should take, so maybe I should get out my um, form and look. So I'm going to scroll. I haven't taken band, but my teacher said I could take band if I wanted to. It might look good on my resume. I don't know, but I know that's an option for me. Now, I don't want to take course, but I know it's a great option for me. Let's see, what else can I take? Ooh, what, I wonder what a CTE internship is. Maybe I should go ask Mr. Um, Summerauer what he thinks it might be. Or I could ask my counselor when we meet. I'm going to scroll through. And I think I want to take a class that's going to teach me um, how to use a computer well. Or maybe I could learn how to do some marketing in my life. So I'm going to choose the marketing class as one of my electives. And then I remember back in my freshman year of high school, I took a class that I also really enjoyed and I didn't know if I could take a next step because I may want to be a nurse after I grow up. I remember I took this Principles of Biomedical Science honors class. So I think I want to go to the next level, which is Principles um, of Human Body System, Project Lead the Way. So I'm going to go through and find that class. I can't exactly find it right now. Maybe I should ask my counselor about that. So I'm just going to move forward because I still need two more classes to choose as my alternate. Now, if I can't get into my Spanish class, or at least the second level of Spanish, then I think I may want to take a culinary arts class. I would choose culinary arts. You know, I may want to get into the um, food business. now what was on the first page again it's okay students if you have to go back and forth I did take enter to Adobe my freshman year and I may want to learn how to do video designs so I'm going to choose Adobe video design as you can see it says I can select between two and four courses I'm choosing three because I want to ask my counselor some questions I click OK, okay. and now I have this check mark right here so I'm going to scroll and students you may see where it says OCS English, OCS Math. If you are not in the OCS program, you just keep scrolling. Additional request at this point, we do not need to make any additional requests because right here I see the magic number and the magic number is eight. I have eight credit, requires eight credit hours and I'm requesting eight credits hours. Now on my screen, I just see a little check mark, but in your screen, you are going to see a submit button. So what you want to do is you want to click submit, give yourself a round of applause, and then wait for your counselor to meet up with you in third period. I hope everyone has a great day.